Welcome to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us. With life circumstances changing week to week, your dolls may need to participate in online learning. So today, we share with you how to make an iPad with interchangeable screen cards, a stylus pen, and a Bluetooth desktop printer with scanner. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to support our channel. So, let's get making! Inspiration for this craft came from an iPhone designed business card. Cut away the centre, we just need the frame. From recycled paperboard, cut 5 rectangles 7 by 5 centimetres. Trace the frame onto your paperboard to get rounded corners at each end. Then cut away the excess paper. Place the business card over one rectangle to trace the window. Cut it out. Now glue the frame to the paperboard, resizing it to fit our doll scale iPad. Trace the window again onto three more rectangles of paperboard. This time extend the side lines a few millimetres outside of the window, then cut out leaving a U-shaped piece. Stack and glue them together. These pieces will form the internal wall of the iPad. Use more glue and adhere to the back of your frame. Take another cutout and paint it black. Affix this piece to the back of the iPad. Flip over and cover the opposite side with white poster board. From a second business card, we added the back camera and Apple logo image. Take your U-shaped cutout. These will be our screen inserts. Here we are making a Zoom conference screen. First, search up a blank Zoom background and copy into MS Word. If needed, resize to fit your iPad. For participants, we googled images of our AG dolls. Take a screenshot and drop into MS Paint. Crop the image to have just the headshot, then copy it over to your blank Zoom screen. Resize the image to fit as many dolls on screen as you'd like. We chose to do six. We also have two Hope screen images and a Team Apps screen page. Print, cut out and paste to your paperboard inserts. To make them shiny and more durable, cover the inserts with packing tape. Slide into the slot we made in the iPad and your dolls are ready to learn. For a simple stylus pen, cut a cake pop stick down to 5cm. Using an X-Acto blade, shave one end to a pointed tip for the nib, then sand the edges smooth with an emery board. Click the card to see this in more detail. Wrap a thin, thin strip of silver specialty paper around the other end. For the lightning connector, stack four tiny squares of white poster board. Owls are less than 5mm. Add slightly longer strips to the outside, then bend the ends to make feet. Attach to the cake pop stick with liquid glue. When dry, cut away the excess paper. Super easy, super cute! So our dolls can print worksheets, let's make a desktop printer from more paperboard. Cut 11 rectangles 9 by 7 centimetres and one from a scrap of 10mm foam board. Glue a rectangle to the bottom of your foam board. Flip over and attach the tray extension. For this piece, cut your rectangle along the crease of the paperboard to get an extra 1cm tab. Cut 1cm squares off each front corner. For the paper tray, mark a 1cm border on three sides, then cut away the centre. Repeat to make three. Take one cut out and fold a 1cm tab on the long side. Measure and cut 1cm off the other end. Glue this tab to the back of your printer and you have the paper feeder. Next, stack and glue your three tray cutouts. Adhere two rectangles for a divider. To make the scanner frame, measure in 5mm on all sides, then cut away the centre. Repeat to make three. Stack and glue together, then paint black. Set aside while we attach the scanner lid. Cut another rectangle with a 5mm tab. Glue the tab to the back of the printer. Now the lid lifts up and down. Glue in your black frames. To give our lid detail, take your last two cutouts. 
trace a small window in the lower third of the rectangle. Cut it out. To the left, punch a hole for the power button. Stack and glue your two rectangles together. Place over the lid and trace these openings. Paint these areas silver. We used a Posca pen. Glue these pieces to the lid. Then paint. We have gone with a fun blue and white HP colour scheme. For extra touches, we glued a HP logo to the top and tiny scan, copy and setting images into the open window. We also coloured around the images with a silver marker to blend them in with the background. Add a blue circle of fun foam into the power button slot. Lastly, cut computer paper into 6 by 8 cm rectangles for doll printer paper. We also copied, resized and printed a virtual classroom poster. Now the dolls have all the essential tools to successfully engage in online virtual classes. Be sure to hit that like button and turn on the bell to get notified as soon as a new video drops. Thanks for watching and see you soon for more miniature crafting fun!